Hello, friends. Welcome to Art Week 7. We're going to jump right into it and get our lesson started for this week, which is going to go over your assignment. You've got a few choices for your assignment. So I'm, I want to get through this video as quickly as possible. And we will be working um, in this uh, general theme of Dia de los Muertos uh, for the next two weeks. Um, for our first week's assignment, we're going to focus on symmetry, which we uh, talked about uh, last week a bit. We're going to dig a little deeper into it uh, this week. So first I will read to you a bit of about Dia de los Muertos. I'm sure many of you have heard of it already, uh, but here we go. Dia de los Muertos, which is Spanish for Day of the Dead, is a Mexican holiday celebrated throughout Mexico and by people of Mexican heritage all over the world from October 31st through November 2nd. So it's three days of celebration, okay? It is a celebration to honor all of the ancestors and friends who have passed away. It involves many creative and artistic traditions, such as building ofrendas, which are like shrines or altars. Um, you put a picture um, up generally of people, and then you can, you can leave things like um, in the picture you see on the screen. Um, it's customary to leave like favorite foods of that person and everything, because the idea is that uh, for Day of the Dead, um, the dead can come back and visit and they enjoy all the gifts um, that the living gave them and everyone gets to spend time together. So that's the, the tradition around uh, Dia de los Muertos. Um, all right, so that's uh, what ofrendas are. They honor the memory of the deceased as well as making calaveras, which are wonderfully decorated and colorful representations of skulls. Traditional calaveras are often made of clay or sugar and decorated with a variety of materials, such as colored foil, icing, beads, and feathers. Calaveras can be seen in other art media as well, like paintings, uh, drawings, prints, and popular movies. Some of you may have uh, heard of a couple of them or seen them. Common patterns used to decorate calaveras include flowers, dots, hearts, swirly lines, and other interesting shapes. Really, the variety is astounding. You can uh, include all kinds of design elements in a calavera. And the designs often use symmetry, which uh, your design for this week will be required to use symmetry. So let's go to our next slide here. And here you see some of the popular films that I alluded to that have a Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos theme, Book of Life, which I still have not seen. I've heard it's very good. I need to check it out. But Coco, I've seen like a million times. It's my grandson's favorite movie. Um, I love it too. Um, music's great. Uh, great story. And it also, an art teacher's got to love it because it's got this cool um, art world connection. Frida Kahlo, who we have talked about before, many of you are familiar with, famous Mexican artist, um, is a character in that movie. All right, she's in, in the Land of the Dead. You see her there in that scene. Um, in real life, uh, Frida Kahlo did have pet monkeys. And in the film, she's got a, a Alabrije a pet monkey. And um, she painted lots of cell portraits in real life. And so in the scene in uh, the film there, she is painting a cell portrait, which I think is really funny. She's a, a really colorful character in the movie. So I recommend it if you have somehow not seen it yet. It's a great movie. Check it out. Me and my grandson give it two big thumbs up. All right. So. Calaveras, which is what you are going to be um, drawing for your assignment for this week. There's a couple options of how to do it, which I'll get into in a bit. Um, there's some uh, sculpture versions of them, uh, like little toys. You can see um, symmetry in uh, many of those, okay? Um, where, remember, with symmetry, there's that line of symmetry down the middle of something where each side is a mirror image of the other side. So um, just like I've got an eye here and an eye over here and a headphone here and a headphone here, right? Symmetry. Um, 
Marigolds are another big tradition in Dia de los Muertos. Um, they're like this bright orange flower, pretty big flower. Um, people use them to decorate ofrendas. Uh, they decorate uh, cemeteries and gravestones with them. They're just kind of everywhere. They're a big uh, part of uh, decorating for uh, the celebration. So let's jump in and let's watch a short film that will show us some real life um, celebrations of Dia de los Muertos and show us some of those same um, customs and traditions that I just showed you pictures of. So we'll get to my video. The music is great. So kick back, um, pay close attention and enjoy. <laughs> Calaveras right there in the first scene. Big celebration. Big crowds come out for this. Good stuff. You can see some of the, the Aztec connections in the, that you had earlier. Um, Spanish connections here. Art everywhere. Just everywhere in this holiday. There's an ofrenda with the food offerings and the photographs. Music, of course, what's a holiday without music? There we got them cleaning up the cemetery, decorating with marigolds. Another ofrenda. Calaveras are the skulls, Malacas are when it's the whole skeleton. Alright. And puppets. Um, just so much inspiring, fantastic art. A lot of um, joyful sense of humor. Um, the holiday, all the art. Marigolds, marigolds. Wow. Excellent. So um, let's jump back to our slides. We'll go over the assignment a little bit here. Get my, uh, let me get my slides back. Here we go. So go to our next slide. Symmetry, which we have discussed before, like I said, remember that mirror image. Um, so Obviously, when you fold a shape uh, with symmetry, the sides match up. You're going to um, be doing that with the shape of your calavera, too. But also, you need symmetry in all those little design elements, too. So you can see examples of that um, right here. Um, when I um, split that one calavera down the middle to look at the two sides to make sure they match, look at this. We've got the, uh, the marigold pattern right up in the corner there, and it's in the same spot of the skull over there. And notice how um, the things in the middle, right, they're split right down the middle, okay? And then even the three dots, pink, blue, pink, same on the other side, in the same area of the eye, like upper and outside, pink, blue, pink. And you got the swoosh there, and only the blue one Goes into the marigold, same with that side. And look at all, the, all that variety in um, design elements that you could use. There's so many more, um, so many possibilities. Here's some student examples uh, that you can check out. Um, fantastic, okay? And I really want you, um, so you're all um, older students at Horace Man. I want you to really take your time. Be patient. Um, obviously, symmetry uh, takes patience and close attention to, to make sure you don't accidentally mess up the symmetry. So there's, there's counting and there's checking how far away from that line of symmetry and where on the skull you put things. But look at how much detail these students put into their calaveras. Just gorgeous, okay? So really think about 
getting a lot of um, elaborate detail um, into your Calavera design. That is something I'll be looking for. Um, so be creative, use your imagination, and really um, use that space of the Calavera shape um, to get as much stuff. Um, think of ways you can be inspired there. Here's another great one. All right, I love those, uh, the mustaches, um, the flower eyes. This one's got like a crown of flowers. There's just so many possibilities. They even have a pattern background. You can definitely decorate the background of your Calavera as well for this assignment, okay? So just have fun with it, um, run with it as far as you like, but I will definitely be looking for that symmetry. So make sure you are paying close attention to the symmetry. I love that little detail, that green flowery shape coming out the tip of the nose and it's symmetrical. Nice, nice work, student. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. So you have several choices for doing this assignment. Um, it's uh, going to take a little while to get through them. If you have paper, I know a lot of us don't. Um, so that's why there are digital options for this assignment as well. We're going to wait until everybody has paper before I jump into assignments where you, you have to use the paper. But for those of you who do have paper at home or did get your sketchbook, you can use a sheet from your sketchbook uh, for this assignment, no problem. Use your colored pencils. Pencils, if you've got markers, crayons, whatever else you've got at home, um, go for it. So you can do this on paper. You're choosing your own media. It has to have symmetry, but you're choosing your own media. You can do paper, a um, couple different, few different options for digital. You can draw on a PDF like we have done with previous assignments. And I have three choices of PDFs of different difficulty levels that you can pick from. The easiest one, you see up on the top there, I drew the whole and just a basic round shape for the Calavera, and it's got the line of symmetry down the middle. You're gonna need that to help you make sure that both sides are the same. Um, you could do that one. And it's also got some ideas of design elements, swirls and patterns and shapes that you might wanna include, but don't stop there. You can, if you come up with other things, go for it. As long as it's school appropriate, this is your Calavera, you are the artist. Um, the next uh, medium challenge one is I drew half of the skull shape and it's a little bit more of a complicated shape. You have to draw the other shape and try to match it up. And then the um, most challenging one is basically just a blank PDF. There's no skull shape drawn at all. You have to draw it yourself, but I did draw the line of symmetry up the middle of that blank page so you can use that to help you um, do the symmetry but all the rest is up to you it doesn't even have um, the ideas included on the side that you might want to use like the other ones do so those are the three pdf options you've got um, there's also a photo option where you can turn yourself into the calavera like you see i have done to myself on the right there and i will demonstrate that last uh, but first I will um, demonstrate um, the PDF version. So it looks like that is it for our slides. I'm gonna jump to my iPad now, share that screen, and we'll start with sharing, or I'll demonstrate um, some strategies for drawing these. And I'll start with uh, one of the PDFs. I'm gonna go with the medium challenge PDF. So but first I need to go into Schoology with the purple stripe. Go into there, go to your art class. This week we are in a pink folder. And uh, hold on, where's my pink folder? Let me go back. There, it wasn't there at first. Okay, click into the pink folder. All right, and as always, the top choice is the video we're watching now. Below that is the slides you can look at that we saw in the video. And then there's the week seven assignment, symmetrical Calavera. All right, that other pink folder under there that you see on my screen will not appear for you until next week. That will be your next week's assignment. So I'm gonna click into the week seven assignment and there you see 
my three PDF options. I'm going to demonstrate using the challenge one, the medium one. I'll click in there, open that up. Of course, first you've got to open up your markers. So I'm going to print that blue box with the arrow pointed up, go to markup, open that up. And oh, my markers did not appear. This happens occasionally. When this happens to you, uh, the best strategy is to turn off your iPad and turn it back on. That always seems to work for me. So I'm actually going to do that real quickly. I need to stop my screen share though first and we'll turn off the iPad. And so sorry for the extra time this is taking. But uh, uh, so I'll talk about the photo one. If you want to do the photo one, the first step obviously is going to be to take a selfie of yourself with your camera on your iPad. And then from there, you can use the markup tools to draw on your selfie and turn yourself into a Calavera. So I'm just waiting for my iPad here. Now I need to join my Zoom. All right, join. I'm sure I will skip over this while we're watching this in class. And here we go. Let me share my screen. And we're going to try this again. All right, welcome to my iPad. Here we are. Let's go back to Schoology. We're going to go to the art class. Pink folder, week seven. Week seven assignment, symmetrical Calavera. I'm going to demonstrate the middle PDF, which is the medium challenge. Open up my markers. Come on, work. There we go. Yes. All right. So um, as you can see, my Calavera does not show up all the way on my screen. Um, good trick. So if I would try to move it with my finger right now, my iPad would think I'm drawing. So I can press that blue icon up in the top corner. All right. looks like a blue circle with a marker tip. If I touch that, my markers will disappear, and now I can move the page. There, got it. Now I can press that um, circle marker tip icon again, and my markers come back. I'm going to start with doing my outline. I want to make it nice and thick. It is good. And I'm going to use my trusty stylus. If you've got one, go for it. Otherwise, your finger can work, of course, but I think the stylus makes it so much easier. And I'm just trying to match the shape. And, you know, even art teachers make little mistakes here and there. Um, you just roll with it. Now, I could have used my fat marker, but I know the fat markers are kind of see-through. And I want this to be as dark as the other side. So I'm doing it the old-fashioned way, how to thicken a line is just by adding more line right up next to it to make the whole thing thicker. And I'm, I'm kind of in a hurry. I expect you guys to take uh, more time with your assignment. You only have one drawing to do this week. Um, and it does take a lot of concentration to do the symmetry part. So, but, um, you know, make it neat, um, make it colorful come up with some cool creative designs. So now I'm gonna go ahead, add my eye. And then a good strategy, add things one at a time. So whatever you add to one side, add it to that other side right away. And I see how close it is to the line of symmetry. So I want my next eye to be about that close too and go about just as low, go out just as far. All right. Obviously, you can't be perfectly exact, but, you know, you just try to be close. I'm going to add some flower petals. 
around my eye. And right away, I'm going to do that to the other side. Now, I should have counted how many flower petals I was putting around it to make sure it's symmetrical. Um, but I'm just going to assume it's pretty close. I'm going to color in those eyes. Um, so remember, you can change the thickness. All right. Save yourself some time with coloring. Look at how much faster that is with the thick, the thick marker when I've got a big area to color in. Now, I could have made the... Um, there's so many different ways to make eyes. This is just one way. You don't have to make yours look just like mine, of course. All right. Uh, one good, easy way to make, there's so many ways to make noses. I'll draw some examples there. You could do that. You could do that, like skeleton noses or the upside down heart, right? I'll do the upside down heart. I'll do one half of it and then I add the other half. Okay. So whatever. Um, I'm going to do, I'll do uh, this kind of mouth this time. And then I'll make a line down the middle. And then I want to count my teeth. I'm going to do one hop, two hop, three hop, four hop. So I know I can do four teeth on that side. One hop, two hop, three hop, four hop. And then matching the bottoms is just a matter of landing on the same hop that you did for the top row. And then of course, you color things in. I think a good, um, fun thing to do, like <clears throat> I'm gonna do a, we'll do a marigold right in the middle of the skull here. And I'm gonna do one bump, two bump, three bump. The third bump is right in the middle. And then two more bumps there. <clears throat> I'm gonna color it in with orange, pick out my orange. I'll uh, we'll go with that one. I want to use my fat marker though for coloring it in. Make sure I get orange. And here we go. And remember, you've got that pixel eraser. If you go out of the lines and you want to fix it, you you know how to do it. All right. So there we go. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time fixing things so that you don't all have to wait for me. I'm going to pick a real dark red for the inside of my marigold, I think. And I'll just do one wavy line, another wavy line, another wavy line. Okay, and then I'll do a wavy line like that, wavy line like that, wavy line like that, wavy line like that. Still keeping it symmetrical. And then right in the middle, lining up with my line of symmetry. And then I'll do that. I'm just kind of making up the designs. And then I could add, so you see, I could add a leaf, 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 leaf. And I can show you a fun thing to do is to color in with a slightly different color than your outline. Um, and it can just have a really really vibrant effect. Look at that. I'm going to actually make that skinnier. Don't forget, get in those little parts. You can change your marker. So look at that. Just how like extra colorful it looks like when I use a different colored outline as the fill-in color. All right. It just makes it pop even more. Really grabs your attention. And then I could even pick out a really dark green um, for veins in my leaf one two and i'll do that to this side one two and i'm kind of going quickly here but then i go one two three and i'll do the same one two three i should have made that other leaf longer but you get the idea i could keep adding things um to all different sides i'm going to give this um Nice brown, cool mustache because um, really cool dudes have mustaches, right? Okay. And it's got a bump there and then a swirl. 
that's just how I decided to do it. And you can add designs that aren't really anything but designs, right? Um, so many different things. Um, check out, this is a great project for using some of those really bright um, colors that we don't always get to use. One, two, three, four, that's five actually. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. So you get the idea. I could keep adding cool stuff, um, keeping it symmetrical, right? I'd want, probably want to color in those um, flower petals, color in the nose. Um, you can add cool stuff just for fun. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just to keep the symmetry, and it really starts making your design um, really more and more interesting the more stuff you add. So um, when you're done, remember, screenshot. Don't press the word done. But before you take a screenshot, let's get rid of those markers because I don't want the picture of the markers um, in with my screenshot. So I can press that blue icon and my markers disappear. Ta-da, goodbye markers. Now it's time to take a screenshot. And... There we go. That would be ready um, to turn in. I could have kept adding to it. I could have given it a background, all kinds of stuff, but you get the idea. Um, now I'm going to quick do an example of how to do the version where if you want to be the Calavera, turn your actual photograph into a Calavera. So I'm going to go to my camera. I'm going to switch to selfie mode. All right. Here we go. I'll take a picture. I'm going to Take this off for a second. I'm going to try to line it up so you're as symmetrical as possible, looking directly at the camera. I have to smile. Very smiley, so I did. Um, there we go. Go to my photos now. There's my selfie. Okay, now. You can use markup tools on a photo. Go to that word edit up in the corner. Press edit. Now a gray circle with three dots. Press that. Markup. Okay. Very good. I think the first thing I want to do with my darkest, thickest line, I want to give myself an all black background um, just because I don't want all the stuff there. That's up to you if you do it. You could just focus on... Um, making your face into the skeleton, but I think this will help make my, make it look like I'm really a Calavera. So I'm just gonna use this by filling in this outside shape. I'm just making my head into a skull shape. And then, ooh, I'm gonna give myself, I want a bony skeleton neck. So I'm just gonna leave I'm going to color out a bunch of my neck. So I just have a bony neck there. And then you see how I can just totally hide everything else in the picture and make it just me. And I love how quick it is to do with the fat marker there. There we go. Now I'm going to switch to white. And I like to use it kind of see-through for this part because I like to use um, my actual, be able to see my facial features through it. It kind of helps me know where I should put my nose and where I should put my mouth. So I'm gonna turn my whole face white now. And see it's see-through so I can still um, see where my facial features are that'll help me know where to put my nose and mouth, but you can keep adding layers. See, I can add another layer. It's like adding makeup to hide more and more. And every time I add a layer, look at this, I'm gonna start leaving the shape for where I want my Calavera eyes to be. All right, and then I could add another layer yet. I'm gonna switch to my stylus because making my hand sore here 
So you can start with a triangle for my nose there, for my eyes. You can already see me turning into a calavera. Okay, and you, you can just keep adding layers of white. I could just use the totally um, not see through white, but then if you make a mistake, you got to erase. I just like doing it this way um, because then I can still use those lines of my real face to help me know where to put things. And then from here, now I'm ready to go all in. I'm going to pick a thicker black line. I'm going to go ahead and there and see with with this you don't have a line of symmetry drawn on so it's a little bit tougher but you do have your actual face that you can kind of see through that will help um hold on make this darker that will help you know where the line of symmetry really is There we go. I'm going to make a And so you get the idea. Um I don't need to do the whole thing over again because you already saw me do one with that and now it's pretty much the same. And oh yeah, I got to make the the bone lines there, right? And you can imagine now I start adding colorful stuff. I could even add like some sweet. Um, I could add a marigold coming out the top here. And then one over here. And I got to, I'm rushing too quick because now I'm making it harder for me to make it symmetrical. Um, so you don't want to rush like I'm doing, but I'm just doing that so that uh, you don't have to wait forever for me. But you get the idea. I could color this in. And then I would color in my other marigold. Whatever you do to one side, every, do everything one at a time. Do it to the other side. That'll help you make sure that you're making this symmetrical. So when you're done, when you decide if this is the one you do, um, when you're done with your turning yourself into a real life calavera or calaca, I guess, if I'm a skeleton, um, like I'm a character in the movie Coco here, um, you can actually press the word done. Okay. You don't need to take a screenshot. So I would actually, I could get really into this and I would add, want to add a lot more stuff to this. Um, but I think that's good enough um, for you to understand how to do this, remember symmetry, take your time, um, put a lot of attention and creativity into your design and make sure symmetry, symmetry, symmetry. I'm going to be looking at that most of all. So press done, then press done again. And look at that. It saved it into my photo library. So if I go back into the photo library, there it is right down there. Once it's in your photo library, you can turn it in. And you all know how to turn in an assignment by now. Remember, pink folder, week seven. So I'm going to go ahead and end my screen share because this is a pretty long video. Um, but I think there's a pretty fun assignment. So I hope you enjoy it. And happy creating, artists. Good luck.